What's up guys, Travis with Decustoms Productions, Decustoms.com. Today we're back with part eight of the Piano Tips for Beatmaker series. And what I wanna to do today is kinda of give you some direct application of some of the stuff we've talked about in the previous videos. We've gone over a lot of topics from basic theory to your primary chords. We've gone through a number of chord progressions, scales. We've also touched on chord inversions and a lot of other various tips that were thrown in the mix too. What I've tried to emphasize in some of the past videos specifically when it comes to exercises and kind of training your fingers to play different scales, keys, chords, whatever it be, to practice, to practice the exercises, put the time in, that way when it comes time to playing your pieces, that you'll be more prepared to do that. But I know how it is. Practice, nobody wants to practice. People just want to play the game. They want you want to get right in and start playing pieces. How do I play? I don't care about doing chord inversions. I don't care about playing scales, doing exercises. So many times you push the practice aside and you just want to be able to play, but without the practice, you're not really developing anything. What I want to do today is show you a direct application into a hip hop track that you may be familiar with. Uh, some of the stuff that we've talked about in the theory and how practicing some of these things, including chord inversions, is going to directly apply to you being able to play music. A track that you may already be familiar with, Dr. Dre's Kush featuring Akon and Snoop Dogg. And what I wanna do really quickly is break down the first six bars of the main eight bar loop, the piano loop that plays throughout that track that's kind of the backbone and heart of that instrumental and show you how simple it really is. It's only two chords that are being played just in a certain rhythmic pattern and in different inversions. A couple years ago, I shot a comprehensive video on how to play this full piano riff and I'll make sure to link that in the description. I'll also did transcribe that into sheet music. Today, I just wanna focus on the first six bars of this track and show you two chords, two chords that are being played just in different inversions. So with that, let's get over to the keys and we'll get into the video. Okay, so if you're not familiar with what this song sounds like, I'm gonna play just a little quick snippet just to give you a sense of what the first six bars sound like. If you wanna check out the comprehensive video where I play the entire track and break it down for you, again, I will link that in the description and it's probably somewhere on this video as well. I'll also link to the official music video on the Dr. Dre channel. I'll just play the first part really quickly and then we'll get into breaking it down. But I want to first focus on just this little riff that I just played. Really show you how simple it is. Like I've mentioned before, this is actually only two chords that are being played. All that's being played here is a G minor chord and an F major. And really the only thing different that's happening than just these two chords is there's inversions that are being played to make certain notes dominant and to kind of carry the melody line. If I simplify that little progression just to the two main chords using the major triads, the minor, the G minor triad and the F major triad, it's gonna sound like this. If I play it how it's supposed to sound, the importance of learning inversion. Once you get in the habit of playing them, it's really nothing for you to pick up any other keys because it's going to be very similar fingering. For instance, before we talked about in C major, these are our inversions. The only difference here is that we're actually playing it in G minor. The exact same principle applies as the exact same fingering if I take it down to F major. So I'm gonna slow my right hand down a little bit and replay what the original riff sounds like. In the actual song, it's being played at this octave. I just brought it down an octave to simplify it a little bit for the camera. So the first chord is this. This first chord is actually just G minor. It's just the first inversion of that G minor. So this, the next chord is this F major, which if we go back to the formula how to do an inversion, this is the F major triad. To do the first inversion, we drop the bottom F and pick up the F above. So this is the first G minor inversion, the first F inversion. Now the next chord is still F, we're just jumping up to an inversion above. So we drop this A and pick up the A above. And so the next chord, we go back down and revert back to this original inversion. So we drop this A on top and come down and pick up this A. So it's it's all the same chord, it's all F. And then we're just coming back up to 
to G minor again, the first inversion. So now I'm just going to put on a metronome in a slow tempo and just uh, replay this. to many of the tracks in hip-hop and R&B and really in all music. In the how-to video, I go through and finish that progression, show you how to play the remaining chords, but literally the first six bars in that main riff that's being played is, is two chords. It's a G minor and it's an F major, just played in different inversions in a very specific uh, rhythmic pattern. Again, just wanted to give you a prime example of how this type of theory and the stuff we've covered in the past videos can be directly applied into the music that you're working on. I'll make sure to leave the link to the full video in the description. If you have any other questions or tips you would like covered in the future, please let me know in the comments or shoot me an email or hit me up on social media. If this video was helpful, I appreciate a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and if you need more one-on-one -on -one help with your piano playing or music production, I'll offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. There will be a link in the description to that as well. Thanks again, happy music making. I will see you in the next one, peace.